The first time you ride the RTA Rapid Downtown for the big game, you may wonder, how do I get through the turnstile? What if I do it wrong, and the turnstile doesn't let me through? Then the person behind me will have to back up, and they'll know I'm an RTA rookie, and I'll make us all late. Will that somehow affect our team? Will I have set off a butterfly effect, causing us to lose the game, single-handedly blowing any chance we ever had to... Oh, I just slide my pass and walk through the turnstile, and that was easy, and I could get used to this. It's easier than you think, Cleveland. RTA, get ready to ride! Welcome to Hot Topics, I'm your host Leah Haslidge and today I'm with Stacy Talley, the director of this wonderful program called Look Up to Cleveland. Welcome Stacy. Thank you. Tell us about this program and how it got started. Well, Look Up to Cleveland is a civic leadership program for high school students and it was started because there was a group of adults who felt that in order to have our next generation of leaders engage and invested in the city, they need to be familiar with the leaders and what was going on. And so a group of people from the League of Women Voters and the Leadership Cleveland program decided to start Look Up to Cleveland to get students to look up to their city and to know what was going on so they would have a, an interest in being involved in the future. Now, can just any student get involved in this program? So the way it works is it's for high school juniors and seniors as far as our summer program is concerned and high school juniors for, this, for the school year program. Mm -hmm. And it's for students throughout Cuyahoga County. So we like to have students from all over the area, east side, west side, north, south, um, public, private, parochial, charter schools. Um, we really look to have a really diverse class every time. Yeah, it's one thing I loved when looking into this program is you focus so much on diversity and team building. Tell yes. us a little about this. Well, if you're going to be involved in civic matters as you move along in your career, one thing you'll always be doing is working in teams and you'll be working with people who aren't like you. And so we want to give the students the opportunity to experience that as a team so they can learn the skill set to be successful. So we work on things like um, how do teams form, what are the processes that a team goes to as goes through as it's beginning to formulate. Um, we talk about how do you get along with people who are different from you. We talk about personality styles, um, learning to appreciate how important it is to have a variety of personality styles on a team. And so all of these things are um, lessons that they can have in their toolkit for when they become engaged in, in projects throughout their lives. And something great for them when they become adults just in general. Yes, definitely. Now tell us about the format of this program. So we offer the program in two different formats. We have a school year program that, and a summer program. So the school year program starts off with an overnight retreat at Hiram House Camp, and then it's followed by monthly sessions throughout the school year. There, the school year session days are themed, so we have a Cleveland Economy Day, we have an Arts and Culture Day, a Neighborhood Day. Now the summer program, we take the entire school year program and condense it into one action-packed week we offer that program once in July and once in June. Now tell us a little bit of what a student might experience with one of the summer programs. So if you're in the summer program, you'll join us. We'll start the day at Greece Center and University Circle. We'll gather there in the morning and we'll start off with this very interactive leadership training segment every morning. That training is conducted by Effective Leadership Academy, who's been our partner with this for about the last four years. And after that, we're out in the city. We're out and about meeting the city's leaders and also seeing kind of what's next in Cleveland. So for example, a couple years ago, we were able to do a hard hat tour of the Flats East Bank project. So before it was finished in the shiny Ernst & Young Tower that it is now, we were able to show students, here's what's coming next in your city. And that's what we love to do with them. Wow, and so they also get to meet people like the Honorable Mayor Jackson yes. and city council members. Yes, we are so grateful to them for continuing to share their time with us. Mayor Jackson has been very generous to us year after year. So yes, they, we do meet leaders in government. Last week, we met with Councilman Zone, but not down at City Hall. We had him give us a tour of the Detroit Shoreway neighborhood. We wanted the students to see a council person really in action in their neighborhood. Um, we've also met with uh, the U.S. Marshal for our district. We meet with uh, Chief Justice Solomon Oliver Jr., the CEO of Cleveland Metro Parks, the CEO of the Cleveland Food Bank, and more than just meeting them and hearing about their role um, in their various organizations, 
we ask these leaders to tell the students some leadership lessons that they've learned, talk about failures, successes, um, things that they learned on the job. Because in addition to the training that the students receive in the morning, we want them to hear real life examples of what it's like to lead an organization. What do you think is the most important aspect of the organization? Wow. I think one of the best things about the Cleveland Leadership Center in general is that when, st when students complete our program or some of the programs that we offer for adults, they all become an alum of the Cleveland Leadership Center. And so when we have events and we do networking, everyone has the advantage of a very large base of leaders throughout the community. And I think that's one of the highlights for students that participate in one of our programs. What makes this program so unique? I think it's that. I think it's having that inter intergenerational alumni base so that when you need to get connected and you call the Leadership Center, we have a very large network of people we can connect you with. So as a high school student, you're a part of an organization that also includes CEOs of a number of our larger organizations in the city. We have college students that complete programs with us. We have mid-career professionals. So as a high school student, you, ha you have an opportunity to really become engaged with a wide variety of leaders in, in Cleveland. When we come back to Hot Topic, we're going to learn more from Stacy about Look Up to Cleveland and other programs involved at the Cleveland Leader Center. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome back to Hot Topics. I'm Leah Hasledge here with Stacy Talley, who's director of a great program called Look Up to Cleveland. Stacy, tell us about some of the success stories that have come from this program. Well, we've had a number of students that have been inspired to become engaged civically after being in the program, which is really what we're all about, is getting students to want to be involved in their community. So um, a couple of years ago, we had a student who, after his visit to City Hall, followed up with the Chief of Government Affairs there at the city, Valerie McCall, and after doing that, he ended up interning with her the following school year. So when our next class went back to visit City Hall, he was the person who hosted us, working in a role right there after having been in the program. We had another student who, after being in the program, decided that she would stay in Cleveland for college, decided to attend Case Western Reserve University, and she was really inspired from the program to reach back and help students um, from her neighborhood, and she decided to develop a college preparation guide for students in her neighborhood. So that was really great. And then just last week, while we were at the Cleveland Clinic, one of our students decided to initiate a program for special needs children. We met with a music therapist at the Cleveland Clinic, and this student had been thinking about how she could do something, and having spoken with this music therapist, she figured out what she wanted to do, and she is just really excited about next steps as far as getting involved. That's wonderful. So we're really excited about that. Now, is volunteerism an important aspect of the organization? It really is. So even as a part of the programming, we have the students volunteer at the Cleveland Food Bank just to give them a taste of the, of the needs that are in Cleveland and also how they can get involved. Because we really want them to feel that Cleveland is their city and that they have an opportunity to get involved and engage with whatever topics and issues are of importance to them. Is there any other organizations you partner with besides the Cleveland Food Bank? Well. That's our primary formal connection that we have. What we'll do is as students come to us and express their interest, we help connect them with whatever organization they may want to get involved with. Oh, very great. So uh, what's some of the feedback that you've received about the program from people? Well, the good thing is we've received a lot of positive feedback from the students. Um, our recent program students, 100% of the students who participated said they would recommend the program to their friends. So we're really excited about that because we can be excited, but it's important that the students see the value in the program as well. Um, and I have just a couple of quotations here, if I can read them from the students from yeah. some of the feedback. Um, one student said, I will be able to voice my opinions and uh, opinions a lot more confidently when I see something that needs to be changed. Um, another one said, before Look Up, I was set on moving out of Cleveland, but now I know that there are improvements being made and I can, can contribute. I will stay. And finally, we heard from a parent who said that the program really changed her daughter and helped her really discover what it is that she wanted to do with her career and how she wanted to concentrate her efforts in Cleveland. So, oh, 
We're really excited about it. And a great way to keep kids in Cleveland. Exactly. We're all about brain game. We want our students to see opportunity in their city that they haven't seen before. So if you want to go into almost any field, we want you to find we want to find a place for you in Cleveland to do that. Now, if a student watching this wants to sign up for the next uh, round of the program, how can they get involved? So our next, our next summer session will be July 13th. They can go to our website at cleveleads.org, and there right on the front, they'll see, they'll see a little purple tab where they can hit and apply. The application is completed online, and so they can go right there and do that. If they're interested in our school year program, we'll start accepting applications September 1st. Is there anything similar for adults that they can get involved? So we do have a number of programs. So we have our high school program. We also have a program for high school in, for college interns called iCleveland. We have a program, Cleveland Bridge Builders, for our mid-career professionals. And then we have Leadership Cleveland, which is for positional uh, senior level leaders in the community. Now, if you say, well, I don't know if I want to do something so in-depth and I want kind of an overview, we have our Civic Leadership Institute, which is a great program if you're new to Cleveland or you feel like you just don't kind of know what's going on. This is a six-week program that meets in the morning for six weeks, 7.30 to 9 o'clock in the morning, doesn't get involved in your work day, and we give you an overview of what's going on in Cleveland, what's going on in arts and culture and government and the economy. And so you can kind of do a, a quick get up to speed with the Cleveland area through that program. It sounds so fun and educational. It's great. People love it and it's, it's, it's nice to be able to do this with people that you don't ordinarily work with. So it gives you an opportunity too to do some networking and meet people in different fields. Anything else the viewers should know about uh, Look Up to Cleveland? They should know that it's fun. Um, I th think that sometimes students hear leadership training and they think that it's going to be um, like work. It's not going to be like work. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, one of the things that the students like, I think, the most about the program, particularly in the school year program, is they work on a civic vision project where they um, work in a team and create a vision for a Cleveland neighborhood. And so they work with people from City, Cle City of Cleveland Planning Commission to do that. They have some volunteers that work with them, and they get to think about what should this neighborhood be like in the future. So that's a lot of fun. It's a good way to learn your city and learn the neighborhoods because we want our students to know Cleveland's not just downtown, it's a city of neighborhoods and that gives them a chance to really interact. And they tell me that that's the one thing they really remember about the program when it's over. Well, that's so great. Thank you so much, Stacey, for being here and telling us about the program. Thank you. For information, they can go to cleveleads.org, correct? Yes. And of course, our blog, tv20cleveland.com. Thanks for watching Hot Topics. I'm Leah Haslid.